Hey, it's Mike from Happy Trail Studios, and today I'll be showing you how to edit your own Super Mario World ROMs using Lunar Magic, the very basics. So first I'm going to show you where to get Lunar Magic. Uh, I'm going to show you where to get the ROM and how to use it. So first you'll need to go to Google and type in Lunar Magic. It will be the first result, and then you scroll to the bottom of the page and click on the Download Lunar Magic link. After that, you save it to a location of your choice one that you'll remember and it should it shouldn't take too long to download since it's a relatively small file and now go to wherever you saved it and then you extract it with whatever extraction program you have such as 7-zip, WinRAR, WinZip things like that and this one shouldn't take too long to extract either because it's small and then you just click on the little thing with the moon and this is the basic lunar magic interface you can't really do anything until you have the ROM so to get the ROM you need to go back to Google then type in three ROMs this site uh, is heavily populated with pop-ups although it did get better um, they upgraded a few things since I've last been here so you go to the top and you type in Super Mario World then you click on the Super Mario World one and you'll need to go to the tab that says download ROM and once again more pop-ups then download it and it'll be in a zip file you save it and sometimes you might need to enter a password and their password is www.3roms.com just the name of their website Okay, now you can exit off of that. And now you just need to extract the ROM so you can use it in Lunar Magic. The same procedure as before. Just extract it, 7-zip, WinRAR. And that's what it'll be like. Okay, now you can open up Lunar Magic and stick the zip folders in the opened ones. Within the next few minutes I'll be talking really fast because I have a lot of words to cram into one video. Okay, so first you'll need to go to File. Either that or you can click on the folder. But I just use File. You click on Open ROM at the very top. Go to where your ROM was extracted. If it doesn't show up, you might need to click all files, but it might not work. You might just have a bad ROM. And now, this is the map area of Lunar Magic. You can scroll. I think you. I believe you can use the arrow keys too. And the two basic things, the shell and the piece of land. The shell is for editing the moving creatures, the sprites. If that is selected, you can only move the sprites. If the land is selected, you can only move the pieces of landscape. That's very important. You cannot move pieces of land with the shell clicked on. You can delete things by clicking the delete button, but since I'm recording, it won't work, so you just go to edit and click delete. And make sure you have the land square selected, and you click on the yellow block, and it'll bring up a little screen and you can click uh, on the different options you can use the arrow keys to scroll through and you can right click and it will put the item on the map sometimes you may need to hold control and right click because it copies whatever item is selected and you can stretch it out depending on what kind of uh, item it is and then if you want to put in some sprites you gotta click on the shell and add sprites with the little blue dinosaur the same as the adding landscape there's plenty of things you can uh, click that tab and it brings up even more but the ones that usually work the best are the standard sprites that it starts you off in. And that's all I'm going to show you for now. I'll show you the overworld in the next video. 
So you click on save level to ROM, click OK. It'll say that's complete. Now you'll need to go to your emulator, minus NES 9X, and then you click on load game, load up your newly saved ROM, wherever you saved it at. There's no sound in the video because I couldn't get Cam Studio to record it, but there's sound while I'm playing the video game. And then you go to the level you edited. And see, we have the blocks we made and the little turtles. You can interact with everything, like, except for the bushes, you know. But if you add an apple, you know. And that's about it. Again, uh, rate the video. This is Mike from Happy Trail Studios. Hope you learned something. I'll I'll be making a video about how to edit.